Hello everyone! Welcome to Heartfelt Cuisine, Cooking at Home with Ivy. Uh, today I will be making quiche with cumin and onion and tartan. It's with the tomato. So it's two dishes now but uh, they are almost the same. Quiche or tartan, they are just the same. So first I will show you the recipes for my quiche. So here I'm heating the pan so I can saute the onions. I have your onions, uh, sour cream, uh, three eggs, and I will put shredded cheese. I have here the cumin, uh, pepper, salt, a little bit of sugar, and I have uh, already prepared the crust. I bake it in the oven for uh, 10 minutes in 200 degrees Celsius. And the cooking time of cumin, uh, cumin and onion quiche is 25 minutes in 180 degrees Celsius. So I will start sauteing the onions. I am cooking now the tomatoes for the third time. So it's in the oven for 180 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'll show you first. It's there. You need to roast it first and it's very juicy. You can see that. So I still have 10 minutes remaining. So for the third time, I have the tomato. I will use same crust but not this. Not at this uh, kind, like at the bottom, it should be on top. And I also roasted the pine nuts. Some, uh, oh no, not this one. Actually, it's balsamic vinegar. Later, I'll drizzle some of balsamic vinegar. And then the burrata. It's like mozzarella with cheese inside. So I'll saute the onions first for my quiche. So while doing that, I will prepare the mixture for my fish. Okay. So I have two eggs. And then I will add the dips. Pepper. Sorry. <laughs> Mix it again. And I will add also a little bit of sugar to the onions I'm sauteing there. Maybe two teaspoons. Uh, actually, 
see the onion, the white onion that I sliced is four pieces. It's perfect for the fish. Cumin uh, and onion recipe because the white onions are sweet. Okay. And it's back. It's going to start. And then let's just wait for the onion to be cooked and mix here. And by the way, for my baking tray, I already garnished it with olive oil. I will use this for the tartan. And I'll show you the puff pastry that I use. Uh, this is the puff pastry that I used for the fish uh, crust and for the tartan later. So my onion is almost done. It's getting translucent and golden. I love to make it a little bit roasted because it's added a bit more tasty for the work. Okay, and done. I will transfer it here in a plate to cool down a little bit. Oh, you can hear that. My onion is also done. Let's take it out so you can see. Oh, so nice. So beautiful. That's for the third time. Here, I think I need to switch this too so you can see. Sorry, I have small space. So, here is the mixture for my cumin and onion quiche. I will add the sauteed onion. Wait a little bit more since I don't have enough time. I will bake two fish. Okay. So let's mix this. Oh, my oven is ready again. There you go, it's done. And I will put it here. Okay. So let's just pour in the prepared crust. I bake this crust for 10 minutes in 200 degrees Celsius. And now I will bake this again for 25 minutes in 180 degrees Celsius. I will put the recipe in the description link below so you can check. It's just simple ingredients, onion, cumin, salt and pepper, cheese, but it's so delicious and tasty and healthy and then I will add this the shredded cheese okay mm. 
more cheese, more yummy. Later on, it will look like pizza. <laughs> Okay, I'll finish the cheese. Okay, that's it. And it's ready to bake. Oops, I'm sorry for that. I need to wipe my hands before I... There you go. It's baking, baking time. With our tartan, I'll show you. And now, here is for the tartan. We will arrange the tomatoes the back side down. Okay. Arrange it here. Oh, by the way, here in the baking tray with the tomato, I put uh, oil garlic, salt and pepper, and thyme. This sh should be stuck in later. No space, no space. Sorry, wait. But I will show you, oh, so sorry for that. So I will arrange them like this. Make sure no space. I'm almost done. Let's arrange it nicely. With love. <laughs> Cooking with love and passion makes your dish tastier is that true yes i think so okay still have a lot of tomato oh by the way the tomatoes that i grilled is uh, i take out the seeds first and then tap it dry so I will just double some, some parts here because I still have some tomatoes. Okay. Here, tomato. Sorry for some of the noises you can hear. My kitchen is along the street. There you go, it's done. And I'll put the crust. So I will dress still again a little bit of sugar. Here. Because it's a, sugar is the perfect partner for tomatoes because it's too acidic okay. now I will use this this is the puff pastry and I'll put like that on top There you go, but I prefer to cut, maybe no need to cut, uh, we need to tuck in. Oh yeah, I think I need to cut something on the sides. Oh no need, I guess. So we need to tuck in like that. Here, because it's too hot, the puff 
pastry gets too soft very quickly. Okay, there you go. So, tucked in. And that's it, and it's ready for baking. But since I still have the quiche in the oven for 16 minutes, I will put this first in the fridge for the puff pastry not to be super soft. And this is the burrata that we will put later on top of the tartan. So I'll just water inside so we'll just drain it so here this is the burrata it's a mozzarella with cheese inside later we'll make four cuts in the middle and put on top of the tartan the quiche is almost finished there we go and now I will raise the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius for my tartan here's the tartan and it's baking time degrees Celsius for 25 minutes for tartan and my quiche so it's time to remove the baking paper the tartan and it's time to flip so we can put some of the other ingredients needed so there you go and it's time to drizzle I put two teaspoon of balsamic vinegar so let's just drizzle Put a lot. And the burrata at the center. And we need to cut it. Uh, it's supposed to have basil, but since I don't have, so I'm gonna put basil for now. So there you go. And my quiche. So let's take out this. still hot so there you go tomato tartan and onion and leeks oh no no onion and cumin quiche ready for lunch please subscribe to my channel heartfelt kissing cooking at home with ivy i will put the recipes in the description link below Thank you.